question. Right. You know the story of Faust? No. Sell, sell this cell to the devil. All right. And the deal he had was that he'd get all the, all the worldly wealth and power and knowledge he wanted. Yeah. He could do anything he wanted. He'd have the devil's assistance and everything. Yeah. But if he ever became bored or predictable, the devil would take his soul. Yeah. So anyway, he's set up for life. 20 years or so pass, he's been everywhere, done everything, he's sitting in his rooms, foremost scholar in Germany, and there's a knock at the door late at night, opens it, there's the devil, I've come for your soul, says, what do you mean, I'm living the life of Riley, you know, there's, yeah. I'm not bored, honest, he says, you are, he says, you're not the Faust I knew when we made the bargain, Faust I knew back then, he was out slapping horns on people's heads, or donkey's ears on them, boxing the Pope's ears, doing unspeakable things to the ghost of Helen of Troy. But here you are, you're just, it's late at night, you should be out partying, you're sitting in your room. Yeah. So I was like, no, 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 I've got loads of life left in me yet. So yeah. I'll prove it, he said. I'll prove you're boring and predictable. Right, okay. so, and I'll prove it because we'll play a game. And we'll call the game Damnation, because that's what will happen if you lose. So Faust sits down, as you are, and, I, uh, <coughs> and the devil says, well, we might equally call the game Will to Tarot Match, because that's what it's all about. Right. Little deck of cards, mm -hmm. not just any cards, the, ta yeah. the tarot cards, mm -hmm. but actually, the two decks of cards, right. duplicates of the same five cards. Okay. So we'll split them in two piles. Mm -hmm. And what is a simple, we'll play a game to see how predictable you are and how in control of your faculties you are. I'll spell out the words will to tarot match, one letter at a time. Mm -hmm. As I say each letter, yeah. you tell me whether you want the top card from this pack or this pack to be put to the bottom. Okay. And when we reach the end of each word, we'll take the top two cards and put them here in a row. And the idea is you don't want two matching cards. Right. So you're trying to keep track of which cards you're sending to the back of the pack. Good. Right, okay. And making sure that the top cards don't match. The odds are in your favour because if you get three or less matching pairs you keep yourself up. until next time when the devil decides how to become boring again of course right so we'll, we'll start it take it easy and you'll, f you'll find it's an easy game to play the odds we'll are in your favor. not my so, strong point but go on will two tarot match w which which one do you want to put to the bottom left or right i'm trying that way okay i Right. Now what? Which one to the bottom? I'll go same again then, I'll go there. L. Consistent, I like that. <laughs> L. It's time to change that on. Okay. So that's the first word. It's the first pair. Right. Second word is two. T. Okay, I'm going there again. W. So I'll choose again. Mm hmm. It's left. I'll go that way. O. That way again. Bother. Of course, you need four or five pairs to lose. Third word is taro, T. A. Same again. R. O. T.
we've got one word left, match. M. A. Alright, okay, I'm going over there. C. Might be can't happen, can it? H. Go where you like. Play the game to its end. I suppose you're feeling pretty proud of yourself. Oh, feeling pretty gutted actually. I've got one. <laughs> no. Faust, Faust was feeling fairly proud at this time. Until the devil said to him, well, you've disappointed me because I gave you a free choice and you've proved you're utterly predictable because you've chosen five matching pairs. Now I'm really scared. How do you... Well there you go, how do you answer that? There you go, I can't answer that. Well, I was wearing a hat, I'll take it off to you. There you go.